Hi, well, lovely to meet you, Sarah, Hi. from the upcoming. How's it going? Good. So yeah. you're back. Look. Where am I looking? Am I looking oh, there? Or am I looking there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not to confuse yes. you. <laughs> So you're back working with Mark Wahlberg, yes. but now you've got Mel Gibson and John Lithgow in there as well. Right. What was it like with the four of you on set? You know, it was it was it was great. I mean, it, you would think it'd be. I mean, it's very chaotic at times, sure, and uh, uh, but you know, it, it was beautifully managed by our director in the sense that when you have a big ensemble cast like that, it's hard to kind of make sure that everyone has equal footing. And uh, and he, he, Sean did such a great job and made everyone feel really welcome and. You know, Mark and I already have a, a rapport with each other, and but uh, Mel and John, they just jumped right in, and uh, it was it was great. It was great. And there's so many hilarious gags and funny scenarios in there, even more maybe than the first. Yeah, Did you have a favorite one? Uh, you know, there is there there is a ton of physical comedy in this movie. Uh, I I mean I, I love you know there there's a wonderful scene where we we all are the characters in a living nativity that then breaks down into a, a snowball fight, which is hilarious. There's, we also have a, an epic argument over turning up the thermostat too, too hot in the house, uh, something that all families can relate to, yeah. It was, uh, you know, it was great. It, it, was, it was really fun to get to, to work with Mark Wahlberg again. This is our third movie together. Uh, and, you know, it really didn't feel like, like the work. We had the same writer and director team a lot of the same crew, a lot of the same cast, and it just, it just felt like we, we picked up where we left off. And, you know, uh, John Lithgow and Mel Gibson are now added to the cast playing our fathers, and they they kind of, they didn't miss a beat. They picked up kind of and hung with us with all the improv that we like to do. And uh, we, we, we kind of, you know, from the first day to the last day, we, you know, it was one of those films where when you get towards the end, you don't want it to end. And when actors are wrapped, people start to cry. And it was, it was, it was kind of a very sweet, emotional set too. A lot of times when you're when you're shooting films in between the long setups everyone just goes back to their trailer and you know kind of keeps themselves. This one everyone just hung around the set the whole time and, and just shared stories or you know we just would tell you know do stupid bits with each other and we just kind of wanted to hang around and uh, um, you know we didn't really want to leave you know, each other's company and, uh, and that, that's that's always a sign that something special is happening. Yeah. I have a wonderful tradition. Uh, I've told a, a, a couple of the other journalists. Uh, my favorite Christmas tradition is I like to, to round up a lot of the dogs in my neighborhood, steal my neighbor's animals about a week before Christmas, and they're they're very sad because they think they've lost their pet. And then, like Santa Claus, I deliver them back on Christmas morning. And they're a little upset, but they're so overjoyed that they have their dog back. Uh, so that's that's like my favorite Christmas tradition. Dads are always embarrassing uh, on some level, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. I mean, yeah. in, in terms of uh, you know my own kids, as a dad, I try to embarrass them constantly, uh, especially, if I, especially if they've been mouthing off. And I have to really tell them to knock it off. A lot of times, I'll just as they're at the dinner table, just come to the kitchen only in my underwear, give them very stern speech. Behave or else. And that'll kind of diffuse the tension and they'll actually listen. Light, Lou. Oh, what is afternoon delight? Uh, well, if, do you want the real answer? The real answer? It's a sexual euphemism. Okay, yes. very good. Thank you. Yes. Great. Actually, That's I have one more question thing. for you. Is it actually I don't know if there's one piece of advice other than just philosophically, you know, he, he, he's just kind of instilled in me. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't yell at me. I'm so sorry. Uh, he, you know, just to, to listen to my kids, be patient with them, and just uh, even though you may not have the right answer for them or even an answer, just just sometimes they just want to talk and you don't have to say anything. They just, they just want to know that you're around. But I'm not around that much.